day. Absolutely beautiful. I wanted to take a moment to give you guys a boat tour, at least of the exterior of the boat. Okay, so starting with the front of the boat, we have, this is the anchor locker. It's got a hatch that opens up and storage down below for all of our chain and chain road. Actually a pretty big locker. Right in front of the locker, we're gonna put a, uh, an anchor windlass. It's like a winch in front of your boat, it pulls your anchor up for you. You can control it from the steering wheel in the back. Um, but haven't installed that yet. Have it, have not installed it. Close this back up here. Okay, next we have the head sail, which uh, in this case, is a 160% Genoa um, on a on a furler, and it the the luff is is taped so that you can furl it in and just sail with partial partial sail out. So you can kind of control how much sail you have have out, and the the shape stays pretty efficient. Um, and then we've got the mainsail here, just a regular mainsail and a it's got an external track. Um, yeah. Been very happy with how much sail area this boat has. Um, it moves pretty good. Like right now, it's pretty mellow, very little winds, but we're still making like five knots. Um, and then when the wind pipes up, it's easy to do seven, even eight. Um, so, been very happy with it. So then we've got a bunch of these hatches which are fantastic we've got four four big ones on this boat um great ventilation when all of them are opened up it's really makes like a it's almost like a suction of air through the front of the boat and then out the back it's it's pretty great and then it has a lot of um of these little port lights as well and those open up so you can have added ventilation yeah, great ventilation. Okay, we got our paddle boards. I need to get a, a paddle board rack. It's like a holder that goes on the outside of the lifeline and will hold your boards for you, but I haven't got it yet. So in the meantime, that works well. Moving back, we have a soft dodger and a traveler here for the main sheet. That's the line that controls the main sail. Um, and then I added this solar panel. This thing's been awesome. Um, this will produce, when it's sunny, 12 amps. Um, so every hour you're getting like 12 amp hours. Um, and even when it's not sunny and it's more shady, it, it still does pretty good. Um, so we've been getting like 60 to 80 amp hours a day out of this panel. Um, and I have the capacity to add four more of these if I want. Um, so I think we're going to have plenty solar. Uh, we are going to get a bimini that will match the Dodger and it'll shade the whole cockpit. Uh, we're really looking forward to that. We just kind of got to be in one spot for a few weeks to make that happen. So we're waiting, but on top of that, I can also mount solar panels. So that'll be nice. Okay. So here's the cockpit. Um, Pretty basic arrangement, but it's functional. It's, it's nice. I like it. Um, it's got a cockpit. It's not going to hold a ton of water, too, which is good. Um, big locker over there on the starboard side. Um, kind of a shaded area under the Dodger. And then the companion ways right there, and it's protected. Um, got an auto helm. It's a Raymarine auto helm. Works, works really good. It steers the boat for hours and hours and hours on end without any issue at all. It's just very little battery. Um, but yeah, a little swim ladder back there, little outboard motor mount and um, kind of lift. That's handy for getting the outboard onto the dinghy, which we're towing back there. Got to represent the American way of life on 4th of July. So we got our flag out. 
It's a little barbecue grill over there. Big Anderson winches. Those things are sweet. Self-tailing, two-speed. Kind of a basic instrument panel for um, all the engine gauges and everything like that. It's protected from the weather. And then there's the, the auto helm. It mounts on the wheel and then it's got a motor down there and a little panel here and a GPS and uh, whatnot. All the stuff that makes that system up. Over there is um, depth and speed. And then on top of that, uh, you can see the, the main sheet control winch there um, and cleat if you want to cleat it off. 